After a playoff loss at the 2016 Zurich Classic, Jamie Lovemark tees it up at Quail Hollow. His fiance Tiva watching his every move. Good. That was nice. Woohoo! That's great to have her around. You know, she's so supportive. We're a great team. He's playing great this year. Just being able to watch him and have a great year, and I love supporting him and being there for him. Good. After a standout freshman season at Southern California in 2007, the NCAA Individual National Championship winner earned a sponsor's exemption in Minnesota on the Web.com Tour, nearly making history at age 19 after falling just short in a playoff. Jamie Lovemark, really impressive. Tons of game. When the two-time first-team All-American turned pro after his junior year, his hype was even more at large. Jamie had the look, the name, and even more important, the game. He has it. The youth brigade. As evidenced by another run at a playoff, this time with fellow phenom Ricky Fowler, who also just turned pro. Eventually, they both fell short. It always sucks to lose in the playoff, but, um, you know, keep moving forward. With another learning experience under his belt, Lovemark began taking advantage of all his talent on the Web.com tour with his first win. He's got all the skills, he's got all the potential. And earning Player of the Year honors after becoming the youngest to win the Web.com tour money title at age 22, leaving his past disappointments behind with his first official PGA Tour card. Everything seemed pretty easy. He had no scar tissue, it was amazing. And then I got hurt and then, you know, that kind of started my, not really a free fall, but it was a, it was a tough stretch. Nine events into his first full PGA Tour season in 2011, Lovemark suffered a herniated disc and required surgery. You hate to see back problems that young in your career. You know, anytime you have surgery, it's probably never gonna be the same. Once recovered, he spent the next three years back and forth on the Web.com Tour. There were occasional flashes of his old self, but was still criticized for not living up to expectations. They don't know what anyone goes through day to day, you know, month to month. They don't know how your body's feeling. From the outside in, it's, it's so black and white, but there's so much that goes on to behind the scenes. Lovemark made better strides last season on the Web.com Tour, not just focusing on the wins, but more on playing within himself. You try to find different ways to win, whether it's a top 10 or, you know, whether it's making the cut after shooting high the first day. And there's different ways to make it fun. His new motto earned him his third PGA Tour card after finishing 12th on the Web.com Tour money list. Played extremely well through these finals, Jamie Lovemark. With his fiance Tiva watching on in full support, Lovemark is taking the momentum of his superb play in the first half of the 2015-16 season and chalking up the close call in New Orleans as a learning experience. I'm gonna make bogeys, eagles, birdies, doubles, triples, whatever. It's it's just golf, the best thing that anybody can do in the supportive team is just to keep an even keel. He's been playing great all year. This time will come, for sure. It's hard to come back from tough things. Adversities, it's a blessing in disguise, I guess, in hindsight. As you're going through it, it, it really sucks. But looking back on it now, it was the best thing for me.